Hello, Masar. What are we going to learn today? Today, we will learn how to identify the successor of a given number. A successor? What is that? Successor is a number that comes after a given number. Let us see some examples. Can you tell me what comes after 5? 6. So, successor of 5 is 6. And what comes after 9? 10. So, successor of 9 is 10. Got it, Miss R. Now, Sam, do you remember how to read three-digit numbers? Yes, Miss R. You taught me so well. Let me show you with an example. If this is my number, then I will divide it into two parts. The first part is made up of the hundreds digit, and the second part is made up of tens and ones digits. To read the number, we read the two parts separately with the word and between them. The first part of this number is 200. The second part of this number is 54. Putting the word and in between, the number is 254. Very good, Sam. To write the successor of a three-digit number, we will also divide the given number into two parts in the same way. Let's take the number 174 as an example. To write its successor, we will start from the second group. The second group is 74. What comes after 74? 75. Correct. So the second group of the successor would be 75. Now coming to the first group. We will leave the first group unchanged. So the first group of the successor will also be 1. Can you now read the successor of 174? Yes, the successor of 174 is 175. Correct. Pissar, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. It sure was. Now, why don't you identify the successor of the number 459? Sure, we will start from the second part. The second part of this number is 59 and after 59 comes 60. So the second part of the successor will be 60. Coming to the first part, the first part of the given number is 4 and we will leave it unchanged. So that stays 4. So the successor of 459 is... 460. Very good. But Sam, there are some numbers where this will not work. For example, 699. If the second part of the given number is 99, then the second part of the successor will become 00. zero. So 0 in tens place and 0 in ones place. Now coming to the first part. In this case, the first part of the successor will become what comes after the first part of the given number. So first part of the given number is 6. What comes after 6? Six? 7. Yes. So 7 will become the first part of the successor. And can you read the successor now? The successor is 700. Correct. Now, do you want to try one number like this? Sure. Can you tell me the successor of 299? Oh, yes, I can. We will start from the second part. Second part is 99. So, the second part of the successor becomes 00. zero. And in this case, since the first part of the given number is 2, the first part of the successor will become Three. So the successor of 299 is 300. Excellent, Sam. Now you know how to identify the successor of a given number or what comes after a number. Thank you, Masar. Please like, share and subscribe.